I am delighted to welcome you to our first ever virtual Christmas carol concert on this wonderful December afternoon. Now, it won't be quite the same, of course, but I'm so grateful to Mr. Farley, Mr. Meir, and the team for enabling us to produce this and other events this term. They really have gone above and beyond the usual levels of dedication and hard work. I would also like to thank you for the support you have given us over the past term. 2020 has been a remarkable journey so far, but we're in good spirits, and I have no doubt that 2021 will bring more normality eventually. Thank you to Father Mark and to St Saviour's Church for their help in allowing us to record this virtual event in the church. Now, we have prepared and performed lots of exciting and uplifting performances and readings to mark this special time of year and the end of the autumn term. Despite the challenges and restrictions, there have been some real highlights this term. It has been such a delight having the children back in school and engaging them in the full range of learning and activities. I would like to express my thanks to our fantastic team of teachers and support staff who deliver such a great experience for the children at Beads Prep and who fully deserve their holidays when they arrive. Now, for once, I do not have to make any announcements regarding turning off mobile phones or where to go in the event of a fire. And so without further ado, I hope you enjoy the service and please do join in fully with the carols wherever you are watching.
God tells sinful Adam that he has lost the life of paradise and that his seed will bruise the serpent's head. And they heard the voice in the, of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree, whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, what is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken. For dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. Thanks be to God. to faithful Abraham that in his seat shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time, and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed, 
as the stars of heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Thanks be to God. The prophet foretells the coming of the Saviour. The people that walked in darkness have seen the great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Thanks be to God.
peace that Christ will bring is foreshown. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. With righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. And the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed. Their young ones shall lie down together and the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and the sucking child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. Thanks be to God. salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, 
And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob for ever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God.
Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, everyone in his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was, that while they were there, the days were accomplished, that she should be delivered, and she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Thanks be to God. The shepherds go to the manger. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring thee good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David his Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. Thanks be to God.
wise men and led by the star to Jesus. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and the scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And now Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, Go, and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Thanks be to God. St John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of the man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God.
Good afternoon, Bedians. And I greet you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. It is said that the darkest time is at that moment just before the sun rises in the morning. And my goodness, has it seemed that our nights have been so long lately. But if we think about it, there's not much we can do about the day and the night. They just happen. The night comes and then the day. Another night comes and another day. And so it continues. Light and darkness are part of life. This year, some will say, however, has been darker than usual. They may be right. But I have a question. What can we do in darkness? Sure, there is darkness. But there is something that lifts it away. Think about it for yourself, for example. If in a room that you're in just goes dark all of a sudden, what do you look for? For help. This Christmas, the promise is clear that the light of the world has come to us and if received, we can lift the darkness. If all this darkness of this year has taught us anything, is that the light that we already have, our family, our friends, our community, are the most powerful lights. Myself and Bede the monk can say with confidence that the light is within you all, because we have seen it every time we visited you. Light in your eyes, light in your faces, and in your joy. They have lightened our lives. And we pray this Christmas that you never forget that you are the light of the world, which comes from God. I'll leave you with the prayer of St. Bede. 
Christ is the morning star, who in the night of this world is past, brings to his saints the promise of the light and everlasting day. May peace, grace, and mercy fill your heart this Christmas. Amen.